Just go ahead and speak to the Lord. Go ahead and speak to the Lord. Fede ikose se kamova kano de diri abakavos ketale do dias. Ela kouri atabaka vade nos keteve vebrante ke kuzi atabata. Ane no kavame no se tika babande kouri atalama kamrote latesia. Iva kombande kate susota kadano. E kamambrande kovadases kataba mi kabonde lakaya. E kakibanon se kuman kabarababrandes ke vikila la satada. I come releve kato zazato mi kabate en vanino sataba akombia telama kwa telana shataya. We love your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For a few more minutes, we want to engage in the fellowship of prayer. Not asking anything, not wanting anything, but just engaging the name. You can take any posture that you please. Amen. Like I always advise, in prayer fellowship, we maximize engagement if we engage like a conversation. It can be done with a language that your soul understands. It can also be done praying as enabled in the language of the Holy Ghost. But ensure that a conversation is occasioned. Ensure that a conversation is occasioned. We rise in intensity based on the interactions that we have. So for a few minutes, we want to just engage the Lord. Tonight we have come to fellowship with wisdom again. And we want to come into that place where wisdom dwells. You can, you can begin to speak to the Lord. Oh, Father, sila bahaso fe tuva hati le tiso setos ke hakutala baru katila kime vakosos fantali nato tasiata bakaba ambo katabre kiloso vakaba bibako. Etomba saba lempos ento temi farato ne taita rabos ento lamato variata likomba ya tagade agaga baba bakato kantolia kambra hagados eto semita vamba sila bakabos eko kama varianta leto skapa babranta leva shate emrante lave intaliasta sata erante velamasta sante Every habalante livra haste ilama tu asto va pate tu si atabai evamando sata ban brete suta babrate lotama emambrando tabranda varata labina savate after three minutes. Kima kama mo shakababa kato adesato enva konda memata basabarate la mate emranta vina dasta tambo saita batamo enanita barade shusa tatata anda babonda la ma kombe sila makabatela la kamra to la manta kababilia kambo satoa aiko babande kavami kombe atale abambe la not Asante mabante Reta babizi atabanto Saita bahata Emanita lamranto Vasata babate Tonight we are sent by invitations Beacon on me Beacon on me Beacon on me Ekomo mondo komo rundi atama Ambabalo sato Komba babala tabarato milato anda Inbandi atetete Mamama santaba Amratonde lavata mi manto in cabando macai abo me suta ba ma babria tava mosa in manila bibranta vayata a papata la masa takaba e coco mama babo a conde babosa e capabon takaya e fa comba le ta combriatalo racata 
Bababaya, Aviba Tastaba, Ekokome Masoka Balotia, Ebonda Cabrande Scopa, Eva Cabenonda Cumiatala, Abanda Cabrasta Bato, Ekopa Pante, Ekata Bababa Catalia, Ekaba Santa Balia Caba, Eva Caba Metonda Quantaya, Ela Ponda, Ekaba Mabecande, Efe Capanda Siba, Recata Baba Bonda, Atande la Kimbamba Tai, Equata Baba Banda, Efante la Mambra Saltaba, Otata Caba, Ai Capale, Ecombe Lisatapa, Equapa Baba Pacimonto, Efande la Mito, Erata Cata Babo, Etai Cataza, Ilanta Cabande, Ecamo Santa Bale, Ovanemboli Camai, Efa Capa Pande la Camai. We come, we come through the corridors of blessedness. For the Bible decrees that blessed is that man that thou causest to approach unto you. Ibaratata come asata bahaya. We do not come, Lord, of our own volition tonight. We come by your invitations. Isalabakaya sata. Elekam bili asante bili kamanto beratale. Yes, Father. We approach, we approach. Oh, sabata biate. Lepante la basi anta baruta la mabaha. Lefata babel na lima sante. Lepapa manetom na liba sata brante leno. Akake mamba konde katata. Bataka tuanda kabra katapa bikataya. Lekaba kambe tabeata. That every altar of folly that is lodged in our heart by the supplies of human wisdom will be lost as we embrace. Is the all wise God. Oh, Kakayata, Sedilai Katabaya, Efekaile Tobera Petome Sanema, Mantela Alia Batasa, Apakalin Tabaila, Batagrata Kadabarata Kasita, Betele Mantaba, Via Patandi Kaiba, Repata Palanta Mamoso, Epakata Mambalian Tabara, into the place where men become wise, where men become wise, for the end trance of thy word it giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple tonight we come simple we come seeking wisdom but like men who have come unto the end of themselves, we approach tonight to be made wise. To be made wise. Ebaya la subrahate la taya. Rata babila santa babe. Efenataba mi paranta te sata. Ay kakaka. Baton seko. Baton kenta babo. Baton kestikaba. Baton kestamba barate. Brekete la kabatoa. Abiantondi. Batesto bibirianta. Rata babo honda. Alata mama me la tofia sata. Revefefe. Kata ventom vreti tastafa afriata vava vanta levarata eropa papa panta asometombe epemba brasta rata babilanta aitamba sontai bakoko mote epoko kome babonvia aiko fenetabra rangsta baba bai le papa pande efamenato we drink of the wells of your wisdom ila papilando le Matoria, Rata Bapa Satafa, Efatenda, Daimo Sato, Daimo Testi, Daimo Stikaba, Pebre Costa Pai for Kamo. Oh, Cabaleso, Seco Levante Mikoba, Recon Sabimo, my Tombala Sufanata, Bapatanda Laba Sile, Epretobamba Samamata. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus. 
precious name we have prayed. Amen. We're still going to pray some more. But um, we are blessed with um, a presence tonight. And it's not just um, the presence of God. Uh, let me call her my sister. Uh, yes, because she's my sister. Um, by the mercies of God, I have interacted for not up to a year, not up to a year, a few months with, um, she's got handmaiden. She has burdens, many of which we also share. This is, um, so AWCN, please make welcome Mrs. Um, Okay, so you give us the rest of introductions. Did, did you start following us here? Okay, okay. So um, she didn't know about us when she was in the country. She picked us from um, from Netherlands, and um, we're excited to have her present in Obumo show today. All right. Hello, um, good evening, um, my Lord's spiritual and all my brethren. Yes, please sit down. Um, I stand on all pre-existing protocols. I have to say that Reverend Jolu set me up because I had no intention of coming to the front. I just wanted to blend in at the back, but everything I did just didn't work. Um, well, I'm so happy to be here, finally. I, um, I, I, I stumbled on Reverend Tolu last year, uh, 21st September, 2021. I think um, he had a program in Ibadan. Um, it, was, it was titled the, the, the RCN Ibadan. Something, the, the waiting, the, the threshing floor. The, no, it wasn't the threshing floor, but something about, um, yeah, something about a place where you wait. And I, I listened to the whole series, and it was amazing. So I continued, you know, and then, you know, if you watch someone on YouTube, then their videos keep coming and keep coming. And I watched a couple of videos, and I thought, okay, okay, I need to listen to this man a little more. And then I searched his, um, his, his, um, recordings, audio messages, and then one after the other, I was consuming it. So I, I'm, I bring you greetings from my husband and from The Hague. Um, so I'm a lawyer and I'm studying in The Hague in the Netherlands. And I mean, not to bust your burble, but there are things I experienced in, in Europe that I found strange. Um, I mean, I, I, yes, I, I thought I was a good Christian, I could pray, but I met with some strong things. <laughs> so I knew that it couldn't be business as usual, and what I knew was not enough to sustain me there. <laughs> I know everybody wants to travel out, but I advise you that if you want to travel out, you listen to Reverend Tolu and embody the things he says. Because I wish when I were in school that I had something like this, I, I would have been better prepared for what lies outside. Because everybody is so intelligent and you have your plans and your dreams, and, but I assure you that your intelligence will not count for anything. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> you know, so um, I started listening to him and May this year, April this year, I was pushed to the wall because I had, I encountered a lot of problems in the Netherlands ridiculous problems. I, I was frustrated. <laughs> I was totally frustrated. And I'm a very intelligent person. Like, I'm a straight A person, if you understand what I mean. But I was having serious problems. So, you know, someday I listened to Reverend Tolu. I listened to some messages, the, 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 the purged ones, one and two. After the second one, I was like, okay, let me check this. Ah, this man must have somewhere, some, you know, social media. So I got on Facebook, I saw a number, and then I thought, maybe I should call this number, but I'm, I've never done this before. So I kept dilly-dallying, dilly-dallying. I, I'd try, I'll stop, I'll try. I'm like, okay, you can only die once. 
And what's the worst that will happen? Maybe the number doesn't go through, or maybe he doesn't respond. And it's not the end of the world, but I was a desperate woman right there because I needed someone who could understand what I was going through. So I called, I sent a text, and to my greatest surprise, he responded. So I thought, wow, like people who talk like this, like you have to cut through so much protocol before, before you get to them. So I was like, okay, okay, it's my lucky day. <laughs> I can push my luck, you know. So I, I texted, I introduced myself, and then he gave me a time to call, and I called him, and I told him, look, I came here for the first time in my life, I saw a demon in my room. Like, I hear it, I see it on African magic, but in my room, this is another level of warfare. <laughs> I need help, you know. So, you know, he, so, I mean, he gave me some advice, told me, sent me some messages to listen to, talked about all sorts of things. I said, Reverend Tolu, excuse me, I just came for degrees. Like, how am I supposed, what, what does this have to do with me? Like, excuse me, I just want a degree and to leave. And he said, look, God smuggles himself you know, through different opportunities. And this was how I, I started to follow the services. So I actually started to follow the services around April. And I can tell you that between April and now, like, my life has changed so dramatically. Like, it just takes, maybe sometimes I just send, like, maybe, um, good evening, sir. How are you? How is the family? How is Reverend Mrs. and blah, blah. And he just says, the Lord bless you. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I got that for today. <laughs> so I know, okay, so the day he says, the Lord bless you, all those impossible things, <laughs> I quickly attempt them. Now, okay, there's something for today too. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I pray, but you understand, when you have some certain problems, you have to look for somebody that can. It's not everybody. And the more I listen, the more, because yeah, I have some background in the faith and all of that, but I realize after listening to him, and to Apostle Arome that government, so you can love Jesus, but you may not really hate iniquity. And you can be so good a Christian, but you may not understand government. And if you don't understand government, you will do a lot of terrible things. So I started listening. I cannot tell you how many messages I have, <laughs> I have listened to. There are some that cause constipation because they're hard. So I say, okay, you know, I'll come back to you. Let's put you aside and try the other ones that, we, you know. And then I go back and I listen. There's some I have to listen 10 times, 10 times, 15 times. I just keep listening. And it gets easier every day. But so I just want to encourage you that while you're here, while you have him, while he's, he's within your hands reach, do all you can do to embody what he's saying. Because the world that you think exists is is not what it, it i know it looks different to you but when you hit it you had better have substance in you because it's that substance that will keep you because even if you go up if there's nothing inside you're coming down it's law of gravity so there must be another law that's at work that is more than the law of gravity like the aeroplane the only reason why it stays in the sky is because gravity doesn't bring it down like like it does to every other thing I, I just want to say that this house has been a blessing. It's not about just attending, you know, okay, we have something on Sunday and then something on Tuesday. It's, it's organic, it's real, it's something you can apply and then you have, you have a leader that has constrained himself. Believe me, constrained because those of us who listen to him, at least, <laughs> I, I know I look young, but I've been out of school since 2008 and I read law, so it wasn't a four-year course. You know, we know when someone is constraining himself so that, so it's more like being made poor so that you can be made rich, so that you will know that at some point you will also be made poor so that he can be made rich. It's, it's like that. Because I survive on the messages I listen to here. I practically survive. Like where I stay, there's a lot in the air. So it's not about when I go out. No, there are things floating in the air <laughs> that you need to constantly be up there. You cannot afford. I remember I moved to a room and I was stressed up in that period. I, I, I called Reverend Tolu. I said, Reverend Tolu, please pray for me because I knew that there was warfare, you know, and he prayed. <laughs> I don't know if I should even share the details. There was a potted plant in my room 
and I knew something was about it, and I told him about it, that I'm, t I'm, I'm stressed out. I have not been praying, really, because I was doing a lot of movement and all of that. I'm glad to tell you that the plant withered, withered away. So I told him, Pastor Tolu, Reverend Tolu, you withered the plant, <laughs> you know. But I'm just trying to say that HWCN has been a blessing. Like, I, I'm practically waiting every Sunday for the service and waiting every Tuesday for the service because where I live is a complex society. It's complex. Because the things we shout about in Nigeria, you're still free. You can look at someone and say, oh, hello, oh, and say she's a girl, and say her, he. Where I live, you don't call someone a pronoun until you are sure if they are male or female. Like, looking at them is not enough to know. <laughs> so if you're living in that kind of society, it's a battle of wisdoms. And you can be rounded up if you just, you know, this kind of prayer you're doing, you can't do it where I come from. You pray underneath your breath. You can't. You'll be arrested. You can't. You can't. You can't. Churches don't have choirs. Because it's noise pollution. I, I know the number of times that I just wish to be able to go back to my school sports center and just shout and pray. But no. There's nowhere to do that. I have to underneath my breath because if my neighbor hears, they could report me. So you have an opportunity and to grow as much as you can grow. Grow enough to sustain you for many, many years, because you will need it. <laughs> unfortunately, well, I don't know fortunately or unfortunately, our own world, I mean, it wasn't this complex, but now you're going to have to deal with gender, you're going to have to deal with, with, with especially those of you who want to travel, the, the structures you are used to don't exist. They don't exist. You, you, you'll be confused, I assure you. And as much as I know that everybody wants to leave Nigeria, some of us want to come back <laughs> because it's, there's freedom here, you know? There's freedom, and the problem is just here. It's just here. Once you overcome what is here, this is the place, you know? Because those places, they do a lot of branding. There's a lot of packaging. They tell you what they want you to think. Those of us that are living there, <laughs> we know what it is, you know? So our greatest dream is how we can actually come back and do things here. And Reverend Tolu is doing an amazing job. Like, I cannot tell you the number of messages I already have saved. I, I just, it's, it's, it's like a diet. So you finish one, continue another one, finish one, continue, because I feel like I have so much to catch up with, and there's, there are lots of loose ends, and there are things he might not repeat again. So it's up to me to, to grow. And the growth I have experienced between April and now, I can't even begin to measure it. Like, the past 10 years, I've not even grown that much. And I was going to church. I was praying. I was, you know. But he gives you stuff for growth, for, for stability, so you can stand. I don't know any Christian where I am. That's the truth. He told me that um, I should get a prayer partner. I said, Reverend Tolu, that's the problem. <laughs> where to get that prayer partner? Because everybody around me is doing yoga. They are Buddhists, Hinduists, atheists. There's no prayer partner. There's, there's nothing like that. Ah, he said, is it that the person doesn't have to be a strong Christian? I said, I'm not talking about a strong Christian. I'm just talking about the one that just at least acknowledges that there's a God. I said, no, we're not talking Jesus. So. Jesus, that's far. Just that there's even a God. Because when you say God, it's like, you're so ancient, God. Like, excuse me, like, God. What's, what's that? You know, like when you say God, angels, they're like, what's that? I'm like, ah. But you people brought this thing, what, you know, so you have an opportunity is what I'm trying to say. An opportunity that you should seize. You will never have this kind of time again, ever. Never, ever. Is it when you are going to work at, at 8 o'clock and if you are lucky to be in Lagos, it means you left at 5.30 and you're coming back home at 10.30. Where's the time? There's no time. So is if you don't get anything here, I'm sorry for you. Because, because your own generation uh, is double the trouble. What is waiting for you outside is double. So it's better you are well, you are solid. Like where I am, you know, I know that there are some basic things that can't even come near me. But I faced certain things that were, they were beyond my pay grade, if you understand what I mean. 
Yeah, because if you've never seen a demon before and it appears in your room, then you know that's beyond your pay grade. You need to look for somebody who is skilled in such things. And, <laughs> and God was gracious, you know, to, 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 to lead me to Reverend Tolu. And it has been a growth curve since then. You know, as long as you are sincere, even if the thing hits you, if it doesn't sit well, but you just, okay, maybe I can't, I will keep listening till I can make the adjustment. I think that's the, that's the attitude. So I'm so blessed to, to, to be a member of this house from afar, yeah, and I'm so blessed to be able to come physically. I assure you, this is how it always starts. It always starts like this. It starts like, okay, we're all just here, and before you know it, before you know it, you'll be looking at Pastor Tolu like, ah, oh, Pastor Tolu, remember? Rem it, it's going to be, so if you, ha you have access now, there's proximity, you, everything is here for you. So don't just get the grades. We got the grades, we got all the two ones and thought, yeah, let's just storm Lagos. And, ah, what we met outside was something else because for the girls, then you get a job offer that says that, okay, you need to pay this amount to get the job. It's a screening process because when you pay that amount and you get into the office, it won't be money anymore. You're going to pay in kind. And if you sleep with one boss, you're going to sleep with all. Yes. So this is the deal that you're going to face. And for the guys, I don't even know who is easier for, whether it's the boys or the girls. But I'm just trying to say that if you embody the things he says now, even if they're hard, even if they're tough, just embody those things before you leave so that you're not living with just grades. I'm telling you, you will be standing. You will not need to call for help until you've, you meet something that is beyond your pay grade. Because I met it. Me, I met it <laughs> last year, so I needed to reach out, and I'm so happy I did. So thank you so much for listening to me. Bye. <laughs> God bless you. And thank you to Reverend Mrs. because she cooked me a nice meal. All right. So um, I hope we're encouraged and, um, and we're blessed too. Amen. Are you playing or over is playing? Who is playing? I, I enjoy manual for prayers so much. I enjoy you the other way too, but um, I think I'm just used to over. So, Jerry, help me with a little bit more perfect sound because we need to teach quite a lot. It's just one subject for the night, and we want to trust God. Thank you, Father. For there is our Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son. You're the precious lamp of God. Messiah, oh, holy one. So we say thank you. Thank you. Your work 
one more time. Thank you, oh my Father. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son. tonight we receive your words with thanksgiving there is an intention that you have in your heart and we plead that in a language that we can understand he will speak to us there are garments to embody there are places to come into there are stands that we must take for you. And we ask, Lord, that tonight there will be promptings, there will be nudgings, there will be summons. But beyond all of this, there will be empowerment. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated. We're still trying to round up our subject. And how many of you like this our background? Awesome. So, um, for the leadership team that made it happen, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. While we wait on the ark, in the ark we'll have a screen. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely in the ark will have a screen because in the ark will have the best of everything that we should have yeah. and the best of ministry too. Yeah. I think I needed to say a big amen. Yeah. You know, it's sad because sometimes when people come into the best of everything, the best of ministry goes out of the window. I had quite a long discussion with um, my spiritual father. The Apostle Arome this afternoon. He wanted to know how far. Had a few instructions here and there. And definitely had the blessing. He's still excited about what we're doing. And that, that's, a, that's awesome for me. I pray that that day will not come. When he says to you I'm worried. Yeah. He will be ministering. Um, at the covenant. I think the covenant. The covenant place. Or nation. Yeah, but the venue is called Covenant Place. Yeah, from tomorrow evening. So, like some of us always do, let's connect to the meeting. It's a ministers and leaders meeting. I'm sure you're going to be blessed. I'm sure you're going to be blessed. Amen. All right. So we want to round up this um, this series because. By the 1st of September, we'll be going into a new sermon series. And um, I'm going to be speaking on the subject for the whole month, Christ in you. Christ in you. The believer needs to come into the consciousness of the investments of God that were occasioned by redemption. Your human spirit came into the fellowship of the spirit of God and the spirit of God um, by saying the spirit of God I do not mean that the Holy Ghost as an end but as a means to many other things 
the Holy Ghost is designed to be the transport face for redemption he's the one who conveys all that God is willing to give when we come into the economy of God and so we really want so he functions in us not just as the Holy Ghost it has an operational name that is called the spirit of the Christ it means among his many assignments he's given to us so that the things of the Christ can be deposited in us as investments so if you go into let me have the scripture of if you go into John chapter 16 and you begin to read from verse 14 thank you for this slide 16 14 the Bible says of the ministry of the Holy Ghost he shall glorify me the word there is advertise it means it becomes impossible in the economy of God that you know the things of the Christ directly a spirit has been given to us as the spirit of truth he is the spirit of Christ he is also the spirit of glorification and what he does as the spirit of glorification is to advertise to us the person the possibilities and the possessions of the Christ he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine he is licensed to function in sales terms as a middleman are you with me so it's like you you have people who plant you know my wife, for example made an attempt after his last harvest where's my wife? you made an attempt to go to lagos yourself to sell your farm produce it was an attempt to circumvent the middleman the farmer gets more profit that way are you with me but in the distributions of god the holy spirit is a chartered middleman he was given that assignment by god to receive of the things of the christ and deliver them to the man so awesome that you have learned of the christ you must also master the person and the dynamics of the operation of this middleman if not the things of god will be released from the throne of the christ but you will not know how to use the throne of grace to receive the things from the holy spirit so in hebrews 4 16 you find out that there are a few protocols to receiving from the holy spirit one of them is that you must come with boldness and I said to you that the word boldness and arrogance don't mean the same thing. The word boldness there is confident assurance. Amen. When we come, what we need is help, but we don't first get help because it is help or merited. So the first thing we get is mercy. And then mercy becomes a platform upon which we can find grace to meet our needs so we want to look at all those protocols of relating with the holy ghost who is the face of the christ but generally it is christ in you christ in you so we're going to be studying the hope of the glory we're going to be doing a refresher set of sermons on the person of the christ christ the man christ the body christ the office and then Christ the habitat those are the four basic expressions of the Christ he began his journey as a man from the cross he became the body because he said to them I'm going to prepare a place for you it was a place within himself he will study Christ the office which was what Peter referred to when jesus was saying who the men say that i am we also understand that he was when he ascended he was coronated lord and christ we need to go back as far as psalms chapter 110 because that was the coronation of the christ to study what happened how does that office operate what are the courtesies by which we can maximize that office we are also going to study on the subject the lord within because 
um the average believer thinks that christ is just an essence or others feel that it's the son name of jesus we want to study his shape of expression he's the lord within and until he is approached as lord you cannot maximize his essence the protocol is submission the protocol is not choice making is will reception so we want to study the lord within and then we close the month with the hope of glory so um i'm almost done for the whole month so just um stay praying it's also a busy ministry month i mean very busy to be at home i've had to pack some at least i have two weekends in this new month that i have three conferences same weekend so i'll do saturday morning saturday afternoon then go back and do saturday night you know just so that i can be at home because i need to labor well there is a shape with which you are supposed to enter the ark and we must enter it lest god comes down and the priests can no longer go in are you with me all right so you will need to as you listen tonight pray that this sermon series ends this night if not balloon me word be given the assignment to teach the balance when god clothes with the secular genesis chapter 37 from verse 1 and jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of canaan or canaan yeah these are the generations of jacob joseph being 17 years old was feeding the flock with his brethren and the lad was with the sons of Bilhah, with the sons of Zilpah, and his, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Verse 3. Now, Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. This is our key verse for this sermon series when god clothes in the secular a coat of many colors let's read on to verse 9 and when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him and joseph dreamt a dream and he told it his brethren and they hated him yet the more and he said unto them, Here, I pray you this dream which I have dreamt. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose. It was not created to stand. It arose by some providence. And behold, your sheaves stood round about and made obeisance. They bowed to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us? Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams for, and for his words. So there, was, there were two additional grounds upon which hatred was administered. First, it was a garment that depicted the love of the father second it was the dream third it was his words i don't want to stay around that area but let's go on. maybe another time we might need a contact session for us for us two days to sort those three things because some of us need to know why we are hated i'm saying that because when people choose their paths in God, if the enemy cannot distract you by making you choose a substitute path, he can distract by the hatred of your brethren. Where you live the rest of your life trying to give appropriate answers or for those who have not been hardened into the will of God, they begin to subscribe to the voice of 
they are haters either by responding or by aligning with what their haters want them to do so we need to understand how to manage things like hatred or else you will not make it whatever it is that's nine and he dreamt yet another dream and told it his brethren and said behold i have dreamed or dreamt a dream more and behold the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me let's read till verse 12 and stop and he told it to his father and to his brethren and watch this his father rebuked him and said unto him what is this dream that thou hast dreamt shall i and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth and his brethren envied him but his father observed the same there was something that jacob knew and his brethren went to feed their father's flock in shechem so let's let's stop here um until we need more verses if you were not in the sunday session i said to us that one of the reasons why the lord will want me to speak in this wise is because we just came out of national intercession an enterprise that is still ongoing that will kickstart again on thursday which is the fourth of september we are hoping by thursday we will have fulfilled our quorum for the daily prayers which will not be too guided except that we supply intelligence on the group 30 minutes of prayers every day to give us a cumulative um, praying capacity of 200 hours every day as for 400 individuals the Moses company who will stay on the mountain until God's word to Nigeria comes to pass I gave us a timeline on Sunday yes uh, no I mean where the prayers will end yes so we'll be praying for it's a one year prayer labor 30 minutes every day until the 31st of August 2023 we'll have crossed the elections we'll have crossed the handover we'll have started finding establishment as a nation and then we go back to God to ask if we're supposed to continue all the weeks leading up to that day we would also be requiring another 400 individuals who will not be praying for Nigeria your job is simple show up and help us meet up with the prayer requirement of 200 hours every week you just pray 30 minutes once a week any day of the week but your prayers will be directed at those who are praying for Nigeria that they would stay consistent they will not drop out of their labors so it's a very simple thing the lines are up there minister Rio me will be in charge of um, coordination at this level and um, so if you're joining us online you can use any of our social media channels we'll be on whatsapp am i right are we on whatsapp pastor dealer whatsapp now the page is already up but is it whatsapp or telegram whatsapp so we'll be on whatsapp so there's the basic requirement of trying to be on whatsapp it could be your friend's number too so that we just know well, by the time we're done you will have had a phone that can host whatsapp in jesus name um so that'll be all for now okay i would not want to go to where we started from but i gave us a picture starting out let me use 10 minutes can I use a handheld instead? I still can't feel myself with this um, microphone. Or do you like it like this? You like it? I'm feeling somehow. Okay. So on Sunday, I tried to lay foundation for this subject. And I'm going to do that in another 10 minutes so that we can run there are structures of performance in God so that the one who comes to God must labor through scriptures the Bible is not just our manner it is the, a kingdom manner 
It means the Bible was not written just to give description to human expressions. It was also written to give description to divine expressions. So in scriptures, we know ourselves, our persons, our possibilities, the capacities that God has built into us, the systems of advantage that have been allocated for our performance. But we also know God, his person, his purpose, his possibilities, the pathways of getting his things done, and if you want, the structures of his performance. For example, you cannot get saved outside the functionality of the divine structure called grace. You cannot. And Paul gives voice to it in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. He said, for by grace were ye saved. So every time God comes operating a structure of performance, a human being is also supposed to know the partnering structure of performance. If God comes by grace to occasion salvation, a man must deploy another structure called faith. Are you with me? So in Ephesians 2.8, we see all of them. For by grace, a divine structure of performance, ye are saved through faith. So faith is the hand that fellowships with grace to occasion salvation. Are you with me? The givings of God which is an operation in God is designed to be stewarded by his love. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave. It was his son he gave. Every time God gives, if you travel back to what propelled this giving, it was love that gave. The giving of the Holy Spirit is a love gift. It's a love gift. And I said to us, so that we don't spend too much time, I said to us that when God gives in love, he gives to an end. His love givings are to bring the one who is loved into a place where they can partner with the purposes of God. So any gift that you have, and in giftings I've told us that there are different layers of giftings in God. There is a gifting of gifts. And if you like, so that we can separate gifts from gifts, you know. There is a gifting of abilities. The gifts of the Spirit are, are ability-based gifts. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy, the gifts of healing, the gift of faith, you know. All of those gifts are ability-based gifts. The proof of reception is not a mental knowing. The proof of reception is not confession. The proof of reception is that you can express them. Amen. It's not only the Holy Ghost that gives gifts. There are also gifts of Christ. Jesus sees ministry can be broadly broken along five lines and that's what we call the fivefold so jesus was and he had apostolic expressions he had prophetic expressions he had evangelistic expressions he had teaching expressions and he had a pastoral expression when he ascended on high he shared his expressions the bible said he gave gifts unto men so he gave some Apostles, prophets, teachers, you know, evangelists, pastors, teachers. And verse 12, there was a purpose for the giving. For the perfection of the saints. So the saints cannot, the word perfection, there's also the word maturity or maturing. It's a progression. So the labor of the fivefold is to bring the saints from the place of confession into a place of conformity our maturity is into a person the person of the christ so anything we are doing as the fivefold that is not maturing people is a waste of time and if you believe that time is life it's a waste of life anything we teach anything we call a conference that does not furnish people 
with the tools for maturing it's a waste of time because it is a waste of time what it means is that that kind of assignment no matter how flamboyant or popular it is it will attract no rewards from god's realm it will have earthly rewards because the labor of the field uh, uh, sorry the profit of the field the bible says it belongs to the king and then everybody feeds from it so if you do something around the church you will still get something something ephemeral something physical but if it has to do with divine rewards we will need to go back to the books to check you know in the in the in the we call it the great commission matthew 28 jesus said go ye into all the world and preach the gospel some translation says teach the nations your teaching is supposed to create a kind of baptism we separate it all the time preach the gospel we then we now that's we take that as instruction one are you with me then we now go to baptizing them in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost it is one commission your teaching ministry is supposed to occasion a baptism and it is not in water there is a place for baptism in water are you with me I've been baptized in water and it was not religion I have explained why you should be baptized in water people have asked me people asked me after that discussion they said so if I've never been baptized in water I will not make heaven there's no such rule but if there is room to be baptized in water please do are you with me it means that those that I can excuse based on my doctrinal knowledge are those who got saved on their deathbed are you with me if there is if you have life enough to pass through a pool of water what you should say to the one who disciples you see water based on the utterances of who the topia you know if you have life be baptized too are you with me good but this baptism was not dip them in water and say in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost no because people who come out of that pool of water don't look like what you are teaching them he said baptize them in the name the the medium of immersion is is a threefold name the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and i said to us that the word name here means two things what does it mean character and authority so if i continue to teach all nations the nations will be immersed totally submerged into the character of the father the son and the holy spirit when people look at them they will see change but they will not bear the character of the Christ in weakness. They will also function by his authority. That's proof of accurate teaching. So we baptize them that way. And teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Because your teaching ministry is supposed to stem out of my teaching ministry. If you want to produce another Peter is simple use the same curriculum the reason why the church is presenting people who are more flamboyant than the foundational apostles but are less powerful is that we have altered the curriculum teaching them to pay attention to all things whatsoever whether formally or casually I have commanded you and if you stay doing that beyond the generalized presence of God there is a blessing that you will come into he says lo I am with you all way as long as you stay doing that I am with you when we deviate there is a quality of divine presence that we do not have when we stray the reason why some of us are addicted to what he said is because we know that we'll become victims outside that quality of presence. I cannot live for one day 
with the omnipresence of God have caused too much trouble spiritually that I am a marked man do I do wrong things once in a while but you know why I don't stay long before I say Lord I'm sorry I know that there is a weight of the presence of God that cannot hang around wrongdoing so alignment amongst beyond pleasing God is preservation based amen okay so I didn't want to go this far see my 10 minutes has elapsed anyways but how did I get here Uh, how did I get to baptisms? Okay, I was speaking of Lord gifts. So we have the five gifts of the Christ. Apostle, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. So the Holy Spirit gifts, ability gifts. The, the gifts of the Christ are role or responsibility based gifts. Are you with me? Office based gifts. But we also know that God the Father also gives gifts. For example, the Bible says that the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God, some newer translations add the word free. They say the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So this way is actually God giving. That's his gift. That's his gift. This way is many things. Is one thing is a capsule of many realities so all each of those realities actually are gifts within the gift amen so they are gifts but now we're talking about the love gift of God you see the end of all of those gifts is partnership so that when God says to him man come and do this thing you need gifts to get things done some of my most radical evangelistic labors have happened because of the gift of word of knowledge i'm just minding my business and i look at someone and say and you are struggling no is everybody struggling okay so that you understand that there's a gift you now zone zoom in just say your struggle is not everybody's struggle this is what and what and what is wrong with you this is how you have tried to solve it you couldn't solve it and then the person breaks down and then they are wild how did you know i said there's a way we know by fellowship we have come into gifts uh, i want to know that person too i'm seeing the word of wisdom opening progressively now so that no matter how big the problems are when you say a few lines people say ah there are things that we cannot think of but those gifts help us break walls and then we can sow the seed of redemption so they are not for sure they are partnering gifts every time you deploy a gift from the triune nature of God a, a deploring them in a way that God is not laboring with you you'll be wrong are you with me okay I'm being very petty so that when we get to the comp because that dream thing I've had too many questions around it and I want to break it down I trust God to finish tonight so believe me if I don't finish it becomes your lot and I believe in you just like God gives love gifts our scripture opens with the narrative of a man called Jacob Jacob like I said on Sunday had quite a lot of sons he had a particular wife that he loved labored technically for 14 years to get married to that woman there's a bit of echo in this thing my voice is not this la it's not this hard you know it's evangelists that are naturally giving very hard voices People will listen to everything until you say give your life to Christ and so they are, they are gifted in their voices so that in case the man on the console gets angry and switches off they can still project an evangelist doesn't ask questions like are you still hearing me he knows that he can hear you 
Abi, Bolu. If you do your hand like this, your voice will go. My own is not like that. And so, he decided because he was getting old, he was going to give a love gift to the son of his old age. Finally, I have a hair from the woman that I genuinely love. And I gave him a coat of many colors. I said to us that in the patriarchal lineage there are two graces that scripture introduces to us that we need to pay attention to and I believe it is because these two graces are our heritage it is that in the patriarchal lineage we see priesthood the second thing we see is a prophetic expression the things that you do should bear those two signatures that priesthood happened for this thing to happen two is that you made movements you spoke words not prophecy but from a prophetic platform you know something that's why you are acting this way something was revealed to you a communication is sustained that is why you can function against the grain you see christianity or the christian faith if you want it is not for empty heads it can be intelligently explained if you will not god will not give us 66 books if he did not want things to be explained however this is the caveat i need to put up even though it can be intelligently explained it does not end with intelligent explanations it is organic i can explain to you what word of knowledge is from the webster's dictionary but if that is all that i can explain then i have failed you because it is sourced out of a living entity and it is something that can be practiced every aspect i can tell you how healing happens but I should also be able to occasion healing and tell you the dynamics of healing. You are not all time strong in administering the gift of healing. You are not all time strong. Every one of us is supposed to learn how to become aware beyond your mental state that I have the gift of healing, that the healing virtue is present. Many years ago, I was studying our robots and they said of him that he may be talking to you casual talk all of a sudden his right hand begins to to vibrate and that becomes a sign that there's somebody sick around the gift within is calling for an intervention my impartation hands laid on it flows in my hand it's like there's a movement in my hand and so sometimes i keep my head my hand long or I tap your head not because I love your hair even though your hair is good but because I'm waiting you must understand the movements within your, your, your members to know when I've told you that if I'm preaching and after five minutes I don't feel the anointing in tangible dimensions it means that thing I'm saying it does not mean that it's wrong but God is not saying it now I will abort that aspect and come back and start teaching something else for me it's a validating grace you are right you are right it came in the day i pleaded with god i don't want to teach error so he gave me a monitoring system if you wait for that validating grace as the tangible feeling of the anointing it may not come because the entrance into the economy of salvation is person specific so the dealings of the spirit are also idiosyncratic it will be you and you alone you will need to learn your own so there's there's a lot of learning how do you learn you pay attention to the patterns of the operations of the spirit you can know if an evil spirit will come this night yes because it, as you journey through your day you can know if tonight is warfare night there is not once 
that it, it, an evil spirit comes to attack you in the night or you have a nightmare that he, the Lord will not have drawn your attention during the day are you with me you will have felt it you will have seen it you will have known it there's just a drawing sometimes to extra prayer there's a drawing to extra meditation but it's also going to be a day of many distractions that you cannot yield to his nudgings and then when you arrive you now say Kai! and i felt this thing so what's there so you need to know how he invites you you need to know what he calls you all of us call you Belumi. he will not call you that thing are you with me so ah holy ghost help me so that was what so the father being prophetic decided to give him a garment and i said that garment was to perform three things one the garments that he was given was a a tunic that extended from the edge of the shoulder to the ground what the father was doing was to give it was to immerse him into a new identity it was not a kind of garment that the hebrews would wear it was an egyptian garment so when our greek students go to school i know that you're an apostle but for five years when you go to the farm you will need to put on a green overall understand that god clothes men as agriculturists are you with me underneath the clothing is a priest is a man with a prophetic expression but he has clothed you that way because he has an agenda for that dimension that the day of famine will come and in that day of famine i will not need to be calling a prayer meeting to get food to eat because someone was clothed in advance the famine in egypt happened after a man had been clothed are you with me maybe you're here you're a medical student you're a doctor but where's our doctor self i know our medical students have grown wings after the prayer they've gone home i mean some of them have gone home okay you are still around but uh where's pastor Dela? what's that doctor's name yes doctor dr sado is he in town okay i've not seen him for a while uh, call him and send me his number that you see i've lost the opportunity to do example because dr knock so we have nurses in the house too I think some of them are away on posting to Ibadan and Aru. So let's be praying for them. But some around. Now when you wear white as a nurse and you put your timer on your chest pocket and you put, they used to put three virus. I don't know if they write with the virus. I don't know what virus but. but they put three virus there. Understand that it is because a day will come when God will need a man to make a stand for him within the medical profession before that day comes he clothes a man in the secular a man who must not become overtly used to the secular garment he must sustain priesthood and his prophetic essence because that would be the answer so it was a garment that totally covered him it was an immersion two i said to us that those who wear those long garments are people who have been called into great responsibility and leadership so it was a prophetic communication to the clothed man joseph that you are a great man and you will lead what his brothers were doing was that they were using the garment to interpret his dreams if not they could have thought about some other thing. their interpretations will have been purely agricultural i'm going to talk about that because when god clothes men he uses your clothing to manipulate your environment so anything he said looked like his cloth we know you're an important man so you're saying that you will lead us are you with me what was the third thing i said the garment was egyptian hebrews don't wear those multicolored kind of gowns the garment was egyptian 
and so the garment was also a prophecy from his father Jacob as to his sphere of influence you are here you are Hebrew but the things that will happen to you your greatness has been given a matrix of performance are you with me good so the brothers hated him and then the clothing began to occasion dreams the dreams don't come before the clothing if not there will be no frame of reference so some of you never had some kind of dreams it was until God clothed you and I'm going to tell us tonight how he clothes because he doesn't wear shirt and trousers on us actually these days you know so until God brings you into that garment your dreams really don't make sense it's more like you are a haphazard dreamer today you are playing for Barcelona you wear their jersey and you don't even know anything about football tomorrow you are a farmer you are carrying you are driving tractor next tomorrow you are what else can people be in their dreams you are the president of the United States you sit in the Oval Office and you are not even an American citizen but when we become clothed there is government that begins to happen around our dreams it's as though the dreams respond to what we have been clothed now I said to us on Sunday very importantly somebody has two, two individuals have taken me out on this um, this statement but it's true that the communication of God through dreams where no inquiry has been made an inquiry is a formal investigation cannot be called revelations anything you see when no inquiry has been made is not a revelation can you give me my verses back from job chapter 33 for time's sake let's start reading from verse 14 and not 12. for god speaketh once yea twice yet man perceived it not how does he speak in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumberings upon the bed what does he do through dreams and visions he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions he doesn't reveal their instructions he seals them he gives to them so that they cannot say they have not received but he gives to them so that they can stay dependent on him they begin to look for openings so it's, it's accurate when you come out of a dream and you call brother Emmanuel and say sir I had a dream what does my dream mean because what you received was a sealed instruction you know when I used to self do conga distributions especially in Lauren and I'm choosing in Lauren because of obvious reasons yeah, doing deliveries in Obomosha and Lauren are two different ball games may God give the people doing it to understand them. Um, somebody ordered for something on conga my job is to deliver to you you now call the guy that I'm standing at as Adam Junction because that's the address the guy who first say no I'm at um, Songo ah, okay you can't be at Songo this is the address he said no it's where he is that I should come to okay while I'm on the bike because his bike I used to use that time. while I'm on the bike taking his item to Songo now for some of you this my conga delivery work that I was doing that time I started pastoring him are you with me so that i'll not be stealing from you i decided to walk may god give you understanding people going into ministry i said it on sunday ministry is not anti-work eh? if you don't if god has given you the, the gap to walk walk home if not you will manipulate the people of god because there will be no grace for supplies okay so as I'm going, the guy will now say, hey, you have a packet for me from Conga? I say, yes. He will say, what is inside? Ah! Okay. Did you know that something? 
how many things did you order for because that would be a good question he said just one so you don't know what your other voice you cannot remember you cannot remember so now ask a question if i open the package before i get to you would you be pleased some will say okay feel it feel it so it's okay the thing looks round though round is many things can be a ball long tennis ball normal rubber ball it can even be egg bones but yes it can be many things is it soft yes it's soft sir so please what is as ogre when i get to you you will open it when i call somebody oga it means <laughs> i'm just trying i've read my limit so i get to them they now open it the guy now says okay that he just saw the thing online and clicked and you know when people have money and money does not have purpose it's like that just like that package it is delivered to you sealed so your dreams operate the mailman syndrome an accurate mailman does not babysit an item he brings to say okay oh yeah uh, what's inside you, there are people who do that too somebody sends you a package he brings it and you are trying to open it and the guy is stretching me i like to put it's the same word i use for them oga maybe you have delivered this thing Take a kilo and no one kidney. Ah, it's not his business. For those of you who are prophetic, you can receive well and misdirect people if you don't understand that many prophetic utterances that God gives you operate the mailman protocol. Your job is to tell them what it is. Many of those prophetic instructions are sealed instructions. The person receives it sealed and asks you. So this thing that you said, what does it mean? You were not given a meaning. But you want to form, I'm a prophet. And then you now say what it means is you don't have a meaning. And it's not wrong to say, I don't know. If you come saying you don't know, God will be able to trust you more. I've not shared with my wife. We've not had time to discuss it. My dear wife, we are supposed to relocate by a prophecy I had yesterday. <laughs> Not outside the country, in Nigeria. A young man has been following my prophecies about the nation. I don't even know if it's an old man. Maybe he's listening. He's you I'm talking about. So, he said, Kai! That everything God has been telling me about the nation is on point because he goes to check and God has been echoing the thing. He said, oh man of God, arise and get down to Abuja for your next phase of ministry. <laughs> you see, I... <laughs> ah, you see, I, I, I just... Ah. The guy has not listened to me for a long time. He needs to dig into a boomer shop and he will find my name etched on the foundations of this town. I was sent here. And I know that if there's going to be relocation, it's not Abuja. No, no, it's not Abuja. What he feels, I believe, is that if you are speaking so much about the nation, you should be in the center. If we go and do this thing we are doing about you are doing Abuja, the man and all of us will buy cars in three weeks. Old. Yes. Very soon we we'll become diviners. Everybody who wants to contest says this guy knows enough. Child, will I win? And you know, prophecy in Nigeria is not difficult around politics. You can prophesy with ifs. You will see it early next year. APC will win if they plan well and in nigeria we call it prophecy say the president will fall sick if he doesn't take care of himself it's a common sense thing that's true but we accept it people wake up on the first of january to download pages of ifs no i can prophesy to you if you study well you will pass will you drop money on the altar for that kind of thing no you should know yourself now you should know your, you don't need to be prophetic that if you eat well you'll be fat if you starve 
you'll be thin except the spirit is involved so we get all those kind of things I've also heard we'll give you a building just come and be doing this your thing be teaching be praying if you if your heart is not circumcised and one of my cries to Jesus is that the knife will not leave the heart because if it, if the knife strays from the heart the heart can like he's doing to me he will do to you don't say amen if you don't want to be like me like he's doing to me he will do to you the world I love is ever before me he seals upon my heart so I live for the water help me help me is ever before me he seals upon life so I live, I live one more time I the one I love he is ever before me he seals upon my life I live That key you are playing on is not is your key. It's not my own. That's why it's difficult. So help me find my own. Thank you, sir. What key are you playing on? Eh? Eh? No, no, no. That that key is more feminine than masculine. Since I started praying, I sing on those high keys. I sing on F. I sing on G. Eh, or E flat. So, mm, so that I can be comfortable. Marvin Sapp sings on E flat. And it's a very comfortable place for me. You see now if you play. So if you find E flat, play the same song. <coughs> Ever before me, he seals upon my heart. You see, you see now. So help my ministry. Thank you. God bless you. The one I love is ever before me. His seal. His seal. The seal is a tool of, is a sign of ownership. He's also a restrainer. It's upon my heart. I live for the one I love. So, there is a matrix to your relevance. That matrix comes with geographical coordinates. It increases. Because he who is faithful with little is also brought in too much. It does not jump. It widens. Are you with me? It doesn't jump. So you don't do ministry or you don't do something somewhere for two years and then you feel ah, it's like this thing will be better in Port Harcourt and then you now jump to Port Harcourt. We don't move because there's a greener pasture. He leads he leads it begins somewhere so you 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 let me give you a scripture for that the bible says that ye shall be witnesses unto me in jerusalem that was a city in judea that was like a province and it expanded beyond judea into samaria and then to the uttermost part if you do the geography it's a journey from the center through different circles that make up you know like going through one circumference to another circumference they are like concentric circles and then you get to the largest of them so it's increasing it's not jumping amen so that was the third thing that he commented we have stayed around dreams because the dreams are designed to come after the garment has been worn some have not come into the dreams because the garments have not been acknowledged and like we just shared the dreams called come as sealed documents sealed documents they come as instructions that you cannot totally make sense of 
they come as problems looking for solutions so if he wears a garment around you or upon you and the garment is to you know lead the young for example and i'm speaking to someone my example is on point you find out that in your dreams you see small children some people see babies even when they don't have a baby yet even when they are not married and they are thinking okay is god saying i'm going to give back to many babies no he's there is a garment that you have acknowledged that you have been called to stand on the behalf of God in that capacity and so the the things within that your matrix are beginning to come you can now see babies one day babies with with a stick in their mouth oh, there's, there, there are this I don't know if the guys are really small or the adults who just use small I see them on whatsapp small small children with smoking things what's the name of that thing that you called it shisha and i see sm there's one small boy that smokes that thing he's a lagos boy he's not an old person maybe between between six and eight smokes it and then out of his nose and his mouth the smoke runs out when you keep seeing that kind of boy and sometimes if god can smuggle it into your dream because your dream is too busy you walk Dracula before you sleep. That's the last thing you watch. What you will do is that the kind of statuses that you will see will be around the same thing. What he's doing is that he's, be, he's manipulating your atmosphere. So that that boy will make everybody laugh. But that sight will make you cry. It's because you are connected. That's your habitat. Are you getting my point? you go out and you want to come into a regular discussion and something that should not have burdened you like that is said they stay in emphasis just because and it's because you're around because you must hear it many times that's how we come into our dreams so that your heart is set on a journey but you find out that the first supply you get is problems how do we solve this thing how how do we get that kind of boy out of that life sometimes you're asking yourself how did he even get there i don't see plenty small children around me I, I don't see them but i see young people and it's one of the mandates that we have some nights ago i think it was in 2013 or not 2011 late 2011 when i just came into town I was sitting in my guidance house i didn't have a house of my own that time and i was the only one in the house and as i watched sitting on the sofa watching tv i took my eyes away from the tv and i saw people walking across the room these guys were neatly dressed in suits with briefcases some of the ladies very nicely dressed but it was a smoke screen immediately they went through that smoke screen every one of them appeared on the other side but they are they appeared tattered smoking with knives with guns and then alone in the room was in the middle of the night i broke down you will have thought that maybe some a beloved died i was weeping and there was only one cry i was saying to god send me send me send me. maybe if i didn't say send me now i would have relocated to abuja But I had to stay with the young people to ensure that that smoke screen transformation does not happen. And while we may think that, oh, we have not had many go through that system and come out, maybe there are some people sitting here who will have walked through that smoke screen, who have been shown another route of travel because we stayed. But the buttons are always there. When you went for a youth service, Christian, the roads were good. I mean, the roads are good. Okay, from here to... Oh, the roads were not good. How many of you have gone on long journeys where the roads in Southwest are good? Though? When you go towards the east, you, you will see bad roads, even in the cities. So somebody traveled... Okay, Emmanuel too had that experience when we were going to Edo. What did you say to me? You say, ha! That's why it's through these same roads you used to travel to go and preach. 
because whether the roads are safe we have to preach because we have been clothed are you with me we see the problems a lot we see the problems a lot and we really want to do something about it a clothed man is an obsessed man a clothed man is a guided man is a man who has been gifted direction a place a role an identity so he began to dream his dream I said on Sunday brought hatred because his brothers heard a dream but they don't understand the matrix of the dream that the matrix was not Jacob's house you can't be the last one in this house and all of us including your parents are bowing down to you this house if they knew that it was going to be Egypt and in the day of famine where the world will actually come to live off his leadership skills they will not afford it so I said sometimes your haters don't need to be hated back because they act out of blindness they can't see far so calm down if they have the lenses that are required they will thank God that God is lifting you okay so let's begin to journey from dreams dreams are supposed to occasion the communication of problems instructions and direction they are communications they are not revelations somebody just ate rice and slept and calls in the morning and says, i have i had a, i have a revelation I have a revelation that Bishop Edepo anointed me. A revelation. A revelation. A revelation. But you live for another 10 years and you do not bear signatures of the impartation service. A revelation communicates spiritual essence. A sealed communication does not in the unveiling is the prophet are you getting me so if you have had dreams that president what we used to call him it's pyo have you okay it's uh, well okay okay it's pastor his peace pastor it's not president sorry his uh, it's peace it's pastor see i did not call him president too because I know some people now will say, hey, hey that brother is saying something which still happen before. That aspect has not been fully revealed to me. Fully revealed to me. It was a slip of tongue. Nothing prophetic about that. If we have to, God will tell us. The peace, pastor. Eh? Oh, he's professor. It means a man with many peas. Okay. They left him at P square. Instead of a P P cubed. Nigeria. Okay, let's go on. So Professor Iemi Oshibacho came and said, What I was to Nigeria, you will also be. And then you wake up seeking a political party. What you had is an encrypted communication. You will need a password to unlock it. Now, there are men with what we call the spirit of the interpreter. They have been given access in God to unlock those kinds of things. But I want to instruct so that you can grow. Don't be quick, especially if you have a dream or vision from the Lord to look for people. Pay the price of inquiry. And if you've been following for a long time, there is a primary inquiry that I said you should do when you have any dream that you think is important what's the first inquiry who is it from ask God are you showing me anything because if the enemy is showing you something it's a distraction 
even if what he showed you is that if you travel you have an accident it's still a distraction the life of the sheep is designed to be sustained by the communications of the shepherd not the stranger if the enemy wants to wear you out if you set yourself on a prayer course what he will do is to make sure that every night you have dreams that scare you so that you will be so weak because of every day night vigil you'll be so weak that even the prayer you have been called to pray you'll not be able to pray it the easiest way to distract a man is to create activity in the line of his current engagement should i say that again when the enemy wants to distract you if you are running he knows if you start walking you'll be bothered he will just create another path for you and allow you to keep running so you will be so raptured in the sustained activity that you will go to another place you're not supposed to go when you set your heart on praying by receptions what the enemy will seek to do is to bring other receptions that will distract you we don't pray because the enemy makes us pray that's not how it operates in the kingdom that a bird comes to my window and does gru 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 i will still take permission to pray he that keepeth israel neither slumbers nor sleep there are many things are i want to check if it's something to be bothered about the bird like one in front of our house may just be trying to lay eggs there is this bird that your boss used to call kowe you know kowe that's what he used, the sound he used to make too go away go away go away somebody can say it's witchcraft bird and you will dump your real prayer points and pray well the kowe will remain there because he's laying eggs and it's not a witchcraft bird can you speak to your neighbor don't be distracted a second sermon i want you to preach to them is find the master's voice within the voices are you speaking to me because my sheep hear my voice i know them they follow me they follow me alone only me only me they follow me if it is his voice then we sustain the inquiry what are you saying now i love your presence what's the second line i love your precepts what is your fragrance what are you saying i love your presence i love your, presence. I love your precepts What is your fragrance? What is your fragrance? You will have created me. What are you saying now? I love your presence. I love your presence. I love your precepts. I love your precepts. What is your fragrance? What is your fragrance? What are you One more time. I really love your presence. I love your precepts. What is your fragrance? What are you saying now? There's a reason why I sang that song because that song contains four elements that will make you beat deception. The one who wants to hear from God must be a slave of the presence. Visitors don't hear well. You know, the average believer just comes and says, God, how far now? What is this thing? And then they run away. No, you must love your presence. Enquiry answers to time. You must pay that price. You love his presence. And while you are waiting on what he will say, you must marry what he has written that's his precepts when you read what he has written for long there is a fragrance a signature 
of God that is etched upon your heart a signature that eliminates all our voices and retains the voice so I love your presence I love your precepts your word what is your fragrance what are you saying Yes, I love your presence. I love your precepts. What is your fragrance? What are you saying now? Somebody say, what, what is his fragrance? Stay with his word. I stay with in the presence. Stay with his precepts. You will know his fragrance. There are aspects of spirit life that were not given to the cerebral. Yes. You, you have to start out the journey. How does it feel when the presence of God is overwhelming? Pay the price of time. Sit down there. You want to know what it feels like when you are rain beating? Eh? The people say their, their, their mouth used to, their teeth will grind together. It can't be taught in class. It was gifted to an experience. If you stay long in the rain, your teeth will grind. Why do people in jaws always wear coats, top coats? And we, we can say, it used to be cold. You now say, no, I can survive with singlet. Oh, go to jaws in November. Your, your, your chest we stand by itself and then when you begin to gasp for breath you understand what cold means even in my degree in february i share with someone that when i was serving we used to drink messiah at three o'clock i mean the those people that sell tea if you don't drink tea at three o'clock you will almost die that's how cold the place can be in the night, if you touch your wall, it will burn your hand because it will be hot. But in the day, it will be cold. You don't, you are trying to imagine it. When they want to post you, may they post you to Madiguri? Ah. You see? The things I'm teaching, you don't even want to believe it. Faith is looking so straight so that the prayer will not implicate her. People who pray that God should lift them should be open to where he will send them. Now, are you with me? I, I don't teach lifting where you want. But you know, you just ask the Lord to lift you but you can be anywhere. No, 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 no. If I be lifted from the earth, I will draw men to myself. He's not lifted to a throne, no. Where was he lifted to? It was a cross. Ah, okay. Let, let's, let's rush this thing. So we see the man, Joseph, clothed. He began to dream. He dreamt the first dream, which gave him a picture of what the future would look like. The brothers revolted. He dreamt the second dream. And he became the subject of the enmity of his brothers. And so a certain day happened. I'm going to paraphrase a lot because this is where I'm going. He went with his brothers to the field. And then they began to address him as his new identity. They began as brethren. Now his new identity, if you have been a student of scripture, was the dreamer. In my book of Bible stories, it was rendered here. Is the dreamer here you see behold this dreamer not our brother because the clothing has a way of making you so unique that you can be gifted identities that no other person is willing to put on behold this dreamer just leave the screens if I go through each of the verses it will take a long time what they did was that they planned to eliminate a dreamer there was the option of dropping him in the hole 
so that wild beast will come and eat him up there and then or killing him and then one of the brothers said let's not have blood on our hands let's just prim, prim, keep him in the hole Philip don't give me those scriptures I'll be reading them Lamb, they help me go back. okay leave it here don't move my scripture from here I need time if I see it I'll stay long on it so what they decided to do was just dump him in the pit alive but while they were doing that they found out that as a dreamer he had economic capacity so they actually returned and then sold him into his matrix it was by selling that they sent him to Egypt I'm sure that if Jacob could manipulate his journey he would have done that but Jacob left it at the mercy of the inspiration that clothed Joseph before they sold him they had to erase his memory and so what they did is what many of us we need to do by ourselves because God does not do it the one who clothes is not the one who takes off the garment it is given to men or to demand to know when the dreams have ended and when a new season of expression has come because you cannot interpret in that identity you will remain a dreamer so the bible says they took the garment you know took one of their sheep, killed it rubbed the blood of the sheep in the garment and went back to deliver it at home to jacob as a trophy that we tried but the only thing we could rescue was his garment it, it didn't even come with his ear or come with his fingers whatever devoured him devoured him totally left a garment and this is it unknowing to them there was a timing in Egypt because everything that was happening to Joseph was not based on his clock it was a famine clock that was ticking the reason why you think that you should be in control of your life and compare your life to other people is that you think that age is that strong I'm 12 years old I'm 18 now and by 18 I should be no you are only your timer is going to be set relative to the time of your need are you with me i was sharing somewhere maybe here or somewhere else about jesus that the bible said that an angel i think it was here gabriel came to a town named nazareth is he here no, i preach a lot so i don't even know where and it was to a virgin who was exposed to a certain man i think it was here and i was saying to you that the sixth month was chosen and you, you don't need to build any theology around the sixth month but there is a prophetic reason why the sixth month was chosen it is because the time of the circle of life in the womb is how many months Jesus needed to be born at a particular time his entrance into the earth was fixed and so a count backwards was occasioned if we want him in nine months when do we start counting it was the day that the angel came our visitations are not because we labored well and not because we fasted well people walk around have visitations but their purpose has a time of manifestation and so God runs it backwards what he does is that he visits when the season of preparation happens because if nine months came and Jesus had not gone through gestation something will have gone wrong he showed up spoke to you and you jumped into purpose you are wrong oh. because when he shows up you should ask him when when am I showing up if not if you have a two month period you can waste it in frivolities and then when your time of showing comes you have not arrived so we begin to operate what the bible says when scripture says that the gifts and the callings of god are without repentance what god repents from is the gifted and the called 
not the gifts and the callings. If Obama's son needs a man who possesses the spiritual gift of word of wisdom, that gift has been allocated here. He comes delivered into Obama's atmosphere without a name on it. And then there are options. What's your name, sir? Peter. Would it be Peter? Would it be Pelumi? You see, two, two of your names have P's. Even the E's. Abi? It's P E P. So, okay. Let's use the P E's. So, both of you. So, maybe they come to Peter. And Peter says, the word of knowledge. There's an alignment. Or word of wisdom. There's an alignment that makes you proficient in that gift. If you don't put it in, leave the rain. He's doing his own thing. If you don't push your gift, Push your labors to be able to mature that gift until the day of manifestation. God will not deprive the city of that gift. Because it's given without repentance. It means God does not withdraw it. What he does is to look for another person. So in our nation, you can have hurricane so-so-so with a name on it as the one to come. And when this, a season of alignment is perfected, and we don't see the hurricane enter into his role. It can be wild wind, so, 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 sailor. Nigeria must have a president. That's what I'm saying. But you see, the president is an office. It need not have a name attached to it in the beginning. There are ranking men in this nation that I believe have come before God to suggest who. When you rise and become and go beyond just being a church goer, when you become a friend of God, you enter into a dimension of intercession that is not intervention based, it's negotiation based. That's what Abraham was doing. If we have 50, a man who can say if we have 50, can say you want a governor, can we use Emmanuel? It's okay, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. let's try, let's try. And if Emmanuel sustains a season of alignment, what do I call it? A season of so once the person is suggested, a season of alignment opens. If the person doesn't meet up with it, God does not on God. What God does is that He carries out an operation that was used to define His choice of Eliab. What did the Bible say? I have what does rejected mean? He was chosen before. And God said rejected to eight individuals. It means when Eliab failed, they went for Shama. And they went through all of the sons of Jesse. The problem was that the, the, the calling for the next king of Israel was going to be from Jesse's family. So we'll use all your sons. And if one is not ready, we go to the other one. Suddenly they found out that they had exhausted sons and Samuel, understanding the principle, now went to Jesse and said, are these all your children? Because if the matured ones are not ready, I, I can't lie that it's your family. If David had not showed up, God will wait until Jesse produces one. That's why nations cry. That's why families cry. Because the one that is to come came and started wasting everybody's time. And so we need to wait until maybe the one that is wasting people's time manages to marry and gives birth to children and will see his child grow up. So it could be 60 years, not because God is not willing, but the garment of the deliverer has not found the mortal to wear it accurately. Pay attention to your life, oh. The things you are crying about in your home may be because you have not aligned with God. One of the things that this series is supposed to do is to tell everyone under the sound of my voice that you are clothed. It means there is a dimension of human existence that we keep suffering if you do not come to terms with your garment. There is a dimension of human existence that we keep suffering if you do not move into the matrix of your your calling that God is sending you to Odoba. You know, Odoba needs a savior, but everybody wants to go to Lagos, everybody wants to go to Ilorin, everybody loves Canada. And if the matrix is wrong, you can be a giant in Nigeria and be a goat in Canada. 
because J Joseph you can't be king in Assyria you can't be king in Ethiopia your garment gives us a picture of your prophetic role it also gives us a location you saw that cloth I wore last week what map was on it Africa I've seen it I've seen it it's not because I'm black at least TDJ is black so. but I know that the body he placed in my heart was first for my immediate zone then it becomes a national burden ultimately we will pray like that for africa when the time comes i know and i'm strongest in africa i'm strongest in africa i found out out so i'm not i'm not ambitious amen I want us to pray for two minutes I sense that there's a gate into spiritual understanding that is open we have gathered information but we need to begin to connect them no man actually becomes responsible responsible actually becomes responsible outside understand there's a reason 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 I hear the spirit say is there not a cause is there not a cause that I am where I am at a time like this is there not a cause you could have been elsewhere but it became here oh incline my heart unto understanding Rapasta babai, rapasta babai, ila patanda bonda, anta fa baba balata mi brantolia, e ora posanto matai. Let the topics be connected, let the subjects be connected. Ibra kolonta sabai, evanino mo patam resto balai. Let the events I tombre he saita, le pranto ma superutia, rapasa fante lota bai. Let the utterance begin to find expression oh let the dots begin to connect that I can incline my heart onto accurate expressions oh Akila yes 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 can we press a little bit more I sense a rail of understanding spiritual understanding falling it has begun to fall and in two minutes it will get stronger in the building spirit of understanding the spirit of understanding aha itabama seven atai to milanto apopo milande lepepinante lepepinante ikomba ta 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 rataka pate te 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 that i may understand the visitations that i may understand the encounters that your words may begin to make sense that the dreams will begin to connect together the other Jesus. 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 Oh, Samamoratasko, 
begin to connect you will see it you will see it you will see it it's 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 a new day it's a new day we will make right choices because we are better informed not because we heard more or saw more but because we have understood more oh thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus Oh, Musa Hakila Masavi Korea Rato Kosava Hivenati Anso Entesi Tata Keturia Kabahos. Oh, Egypt, 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 yes, Egypt, 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 Egypt needs an a mystery of Zion. In that secular plane, God needs men. God needs men. God needs men. He seeks a witness in the secular. Aya Kamobo Taika Salamat. He seeks a witness. Oh, one who will keep crying. 
one who will live by the standards of the kingdom and we keep speaking the words of the kingdom one that will not be corrupted because a day comes where preservation will be needed we will not fail we will not fail in Jesus name we are praying church hear this some failures are not futuristic a man can fail now to fail in the future huh. what did Joseph know what did Joseph know what did Joseph know how did he understand that that garment was not designed to be an eternal garment that there was a season to wear and there was another season to shed it's because you are comfortable with what people have known you to be that you can't make progress because every time something comes for your garment you fight You were destined for more. For the kingdom, more. But you are comfortable. You are comfortable. You just want to, you don't want your, your bird ruffled. This garment is cozy. Give me a few minutes. And then we are going to pray. That God begins to steer systems to shed the garment. I said to us a few weeks ago, I don't want to do ministry like this after 40. And 40 is not far. No. I have, I have dreamt in this current garment. My next 40 years are supposed to be years of interpretation. That's why I know that ministry will be different. Because you add no value, you create more problems. If all you can do is dream. You add to the confusion. Our nation has too many dreamers from the church. We can tell them what problem, what the problem is, but we can't bring solutions. I found out on Monday night. It was yesterday Monday. I think what well, that thing was on Sunday. That Asu thing was on Sunday, right? It was yesterday morning. That people can be professors, but they may, they may not be able to solve problem with federal government. It's not it's not intellect. I also learned that Nigerians don't understand the meaning of the word indefinite. So I had to respond angrily this morning. Does indefinite mean one year? Ah! You know, I just went back to Twitter. I saw those Twitter savages eating into people anyhow. Somebody said he's living, he's not even going. He does not even know the spelling of living. And he says he does not need school. So the savages told him, oh, you better go back to school. You don't want your son to come and think that living, L-E-A-V-I-N-G, is spelled as L-I-V-I-N-G. Indefinite strike is good news. If you understand the art of manipulation, it means that Asu could have called out that strike yesterday afternoon. Anytime you respond, we respond. So if you could manipulate federal government to respond yesterday afternoon, they will have called it off. Because this last set were in trenches. Abi? So where are we, sir? Someone said, I want, I want to go and learn work. Someone said, I'm looking for a job with a strike that is indefinite. Is the coming of Jesus not indefinite? Does it mean it to be 100 years? If you live like that, we will have gone. Because I'm going. I'm paying keen attention to my life. All this kingdom dominion, all this territorial takeover. In my head, I have rapture very strong. And maybe before the close of the year, we spend a few weeks to teach it again. This place is no abiding place. We are living very soon checking out in strength the church has forgotten we are trying to build here an eternal city 
in, in a dimension that is ephemeral. We will go. Emmanuel, are you going with us? So live like you will go. Live like you will go. He was sold into slavery. And you find out that once the garment is off, a, a, an essence that gave expression to his life so strong that it gave him an identity also faded. The ability to dream. He no longer received encrypted communications. Now he became an interpreter. And he no longer could just do that for himself. He had the capacity, even in incarceration, to be able to say, you guys are not happy. Tell me your dreams. It means you guys are still clothed. I have won something else. Tell me your dreams. I used to tell people that the Bible did not introduce to us. Well, it was not too much an introduced subject during his time that, that Jacob had, I'm not sorry, that Joseph had a prayer life. Did you? But we've seen another man in scriptures, and that's why inquiry becomes important. We saw Daniel also operate in that dimension by prayer. And then he matured until he began to express it like a gift that needed no motivation. You have not become a gift to God and to the people until you have come into the ability to interpret. Your relevance in the sphere that God is bringing you into, your greatness is tied to the ability to interpret the things that God has given to you. Those solutions are kingdom solutions for humanity. So that when men receive them, Jesus is glorified, but you will need to shed your dreamer garment and now begin to bring interpretations within that sphere. One of the professors in Laotic, that's Professor Loki. How many of you have heard about Baba? Baba has, I knew him before he became a professor because we were in Antioch Baptist Church. That was our home church. And he was, was ordained a deacon in that church before he started shortening Laotic and going back. If you read him up online, you'll find out that he's as much a priest as any of us. He knows God well. But he's also, is he in biochemistry or microbiology? He said, micro, is in microbiology. He has his own drug um, inventions. How many of you know that? He has his own drug inventions. I think it was during the COVID, he and one of a doctor from um, from um, Adelike University is my friend anyway because we taught when I was teaching in Goma we taught together there Dr. Ladi Popo they worked on some mixtures that could quench that thing they didn't do it in Lagos their lab is here there's this chemist you think he's a chemist he cl he's dead and he's late now He's, 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 he's of um, Cameroonian um, origin. Based on my study and the study of many other people, if you have not read his books on prayer and fasting, you have not well mastered that composition. He's called Dr. Zacharias Tanin for noon. He was a chemist. He claims that Jesus is the, is the head of his lab. When he sheds so he comes into problems as a chemist he solves them by his priesthood inspirations that's how to wear your garment and know when to share it because there are problems you will not know until you are clothed that way but that garment cannot bring solutions 
we began this journey trying to see what our work prescriptions are when we have prayed because the story in the media is that the Nigerian church only prays they do nothing to affect the nation and I said to us it is in vain that we pray for a new nation if we do not want to see the emergence of a new church and a new kind of man the praying man expresses his identity as a king priest but when he steps into a natural habitat he is a solution provider because there are garments that give him an identity among men that he must wear so I said on Sunday if your God instructed you to go and study medicine you are a doctor don't wrestle apostles with the apostles are you with me leave them to carry some of us have to that, I don't have any other identity outside of if my spiritual father decides tomorrow Tolu let's do something else and change this identity I'll stay like that I was pastor JJ until he said you are up for ordination I'm not that ambitious I'm not pushing anything and I went there stayed in classes for about um, 10 days about 8 days and you don't want to be in our ordinary classes we have classes from morning we resume classes at 8 when it's 12 o'clock we pray for 2 hours that's you 2 and you go for lunch to your tent to Israel is to go for lunch you can be going to pray then you convert back at 4 you do classes till 7 and then you resume at 9 and you pray till 5 a.m well you know if it's me that is leading the prayer i can sprinkle you with songs we had a strange man to lead us in prayer so he goes by the name reverend donatus so reverend donatus can, has stood like this before he stood on the altar one leg up and down like this and stood like that for 21 hours stretch praying so when is the one taking you through that night prayer? And the rule is if you sleep, you will not be ordained. So your people at home will know that <laughs> it's sleep that deprived our pastor. So it's anything you can know how to do. I remember Pastor Stanley Ajay was with us. He's also a warrior. Sometimes we will hold hands because you are tired. And then you'll be dragging yourself you, you know you know all those dragging kind of tongues they are just like bang 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 so that you will see some people they will i knew that time that people could sleep standing i won't mention their names because they have congregations the guy will and he will not fall we are not all ordained because some people slept yes some people left the building and went to hang out on a chair somewhere and they were fortunate to be picked out so i think one of them has not even been ordained in now yes because it's by recommendation so in, in, in case you don't meet up with recommendation again you float you can ordain yourself shall because it's common in nigeria they are reverenced by personal way i made himself a reverend i know one I was pastor by personnel because he thinks that pastor is the lowest rank he does not understand that it's a five-fold office and after a few weeks he began to hang out with reverence and he chose reverend he's not an apostle because from reverend he went to prophet no it's not an apostle he's not worth following he's inconsistent he's inconsistent I want to close here even though there are a lot of things I want to say because I don't want to keep us beyond here I want to pray every one of us that has been worn a secular garment has a matrix of expression you will need to go to God ask him to show you what he has clothed you as You are not just Peter. 
That's the name your parents gave you. And we want to assume that they were in their most holy moment when they gave you that name. Because I found out that in, 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 in Christendom, our names are not always suggestive of who we are. Of Jesus, it was said, his name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. His name means God our salvation. So it was, a, it was an accurate name. Some people were just, somebody was just in a high moment. And then they gave him a name. It means your name will not be a gate of destiny. So your problem is much. You will need to ask God, what have you clothed me as? This year I had the privilege to minister at the Nigerian Police Academy. That's the University of the Nigerian Police. That's in... Uh, in Woodil, Kano State. They are, I wept after my first session because I know that Nigerian police has hope. And may our hopes not be dashed because I saw how in the call not true worship rose not from seminarians but from police cadets. Anyway, since that time I went, there's been a lot of warfare. A lot of warfare. It's like, sometimes I feel sad. A lot of warfare. They've almost shut down their meetings. People have been picked up, seeing them pray, and they say, oh, if they are praying, they are cultists, and they'll be punished, all kinds of stuff. But they are still resolute. What is my hope? That if these ones graduate, they will not collect money on the road. That if these ones graduate, they will not be the instruments of oppression. But they must wear their police garments. Know that Jesus called them to be policemen. My mini our ministry son, or my spiritual son, and his soon to become wife are in the Nigerian army. And this my ministry son fights in the heart of Bornu State. He was with us a few weeks ago. They just had their introduction. And we know that Jesus will perfect all that concerns them. When he arrived, I remember the day he was leaving, January 31st, 2021. I was the one that drove him to a job before he boarded the vehicle for Lagos and flew. I was in tears. Jesus, let this boy come back home. Let this boy come back home. Because I know what used to happen. But the Lord brought great deliverances to them there. Because his prophetic nature could predict when an attack was coming. We have to tell him to tone it down. Lest they eye you that you are the, you are the one. But he always knew when. He always knew what, what day, what time. What? The root. So they are coming through here. Let's ambush them. And then they waste those wicked men. Now I've told him to down. So a few weeks ago. He said I'm supposed to go to town. Pray about it. But he had been. I think it's only 500. Day prayer. All night. 500 just to keep his spirit alive because even though Jesus has situated him in the theater where 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 you, you know that place is it's not a one off bh or i swap invasion it's in the heart of the invasionists but he understands how to keep alive he said after i prayed yesterday i had to meet maoka that i don't want to follow them for this one i'll stay back here so they told him to go and do something else. Everybody that went on that trip did not return. Wasted everybody. The advantage was knowing when to remove his garment and come into the ability to interpret rules. Are you with me? While we were driving through Abuja and we were trying to drop off somebody and these touts were trying to, because there are plenty in Abuja, they were trying to harass us. We, we, we waited for a while until... He said that daddy 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 
so came out pulled out his ID card and the guys calmed he was acting like a soldier but he must know when to take off that garment and begin to bring solutions one of those times I was preaching in Loud Tech Chapel last year as I was coming off stage my off stage my phone beeped and I saw his name so I gave attention to the text message and this was his utterance daddy we have been attacked we have been on the run for nine hours in the bush I don't even know where we are but pray for me because I didn't respond early he sent his second message said I don't know why Jesus sent me here but I perceive that Jesus has interest in the sons of Bono State. Let him keep me alive. That was the last I heard of him for like three weeks. And then they started sending me messages from the Nigerian Defense Academy that they've drawn a list of those who are missing. Your son is dead. I told them, I said, my son cannot die. Oh, he's missing. Missing so that the army struck out their salaries and stopped paying them because they thought that they were late. This one will come back home alive. After three weeks, I was minding my business and I got a message. I'm safe in this particular place. Ah! She ran to my wife and said, my son is alive. I love that young man. When they got back to their location, there were only three of them alive. And then they met in the village an elderly woman and her friend. Why didn't you run away? The elderly woman said, This young lady has this young lady, that's the older older elderly woman, had been my friend since we were in our, in our, our tens, like seven, eight, nine. She's crippled, she can't run. So I'm not going to abandon her. If they want to kill us, let them kill two of two of us here. That's why you stayed. So his commandant was wondering, okay, what do we do? And he said, he went to his commandant and said, sir, can I help her? Are you a doctor? He said, but I can help. So he walked up to the woman, lifted the leg in his hands, prayed. And in a few seconds, she began to walk. That's knowing how to shed and enter a as a solution provider. I know you are an employee working for a salary. But if there's a problem, that's why you are there. You are informed enough by dreams. Am I speaking to sunshine now? You are informed enough by dreams, by notifications in God that there is a problem. After a while, the problem becomes physical, but that's not the end. The one who was informed was informed because he or she was clothed. If they shed the garment, they'll be able to interpret. It means you will drop your employee status when you come before God and enter into your priesthood because in your priesthood lies a solution. That's how we will turn the nation around. The one in transport, the one in construction. We want to beat corruption. We will enter those sectors as construction workers. We will enter those structures as, 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 um, as doctors, as pharmacists. But when we become private as to the problem there, we don't become part of the problem. We don't chant the problem. What we do is that we take off our garments so that another spiritual essence can begin to find expression. We become interpreters. And then we begin to bring solutions. I know you're a fashion designer. Sunday we, we created a new name, a garment maker. A few years ago, I was trying to buy a gown for my wife. She was still my fiancé that time. So brothers, please buy gowns for our sisters. But buy good ones. Amen. You can't be trying to marry a daughter in Zion and give her a Babylonian garment. It's wrong. So I'd like you to wear something like this. You are not one of us. And you were not raised like that. But it took me a long walk going from store to store looking for a modest garment. Because I won't want her to appear in something strange. She has a calling to garment making. So in that calling, she will be exposed to see the depravity that has come into what we wear. And when she steps back into the spirit, her eyes are open. Like those people download designs, a download will begin to come. 
and then what she brings forth because it is by a spirit will be marketable in spite of trends that's how to break a trend that what you bring is what people like not what they want because the spirit is involved I want to close here you have seen many things Emmanuel Revelations 1 1 that's what we pray for the Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him I'm just using the, the language of this verse and not the spirit of the verse they are two different things the revelation of Jesus Christ the revelation of Isaac which God gave to him remember my key I'm not using the spirit of the verse I'm just using the language that God can give the revelation of you to you you don't know yourself maybe all you know is Peter are you a pastor do you have plans to do ministry somehow somehow you have seen it okay well, what did you see yourself doing feeding five thousand okay discipling men okay he's the one doing ministry you are just following okay so following to to be made is good it's good but you need to ask the Lord what garment he has put on here I don't want to lead a church where everybody is a pastor I think it's criminal the things we have been teaching is to produce priests in different sectors my sister here tonight what did she say that she was a lawyer I've listened to her a little this afternoon she's a very fine lawyer uh, if she stands defending you, you are safe and it's good every pastor needs a lawyer every pastor needs a policeman friend every pastor needs a road safety officer you need a civil defense officer and you need every you need one in the army in the in the navy in the air force i have friends everywhere i have efcc friends and not the boys the, i have okai efcc friends you must have in the customs you must have in the immigration so that when our speakers are coming no devil will relay them somebody will police them here are you getting me you must have bankers who are your friends you must have malams on your street who are your friends i have friends everywhere if you see me in sabo they trunk me it's not because i want to exchange money i greet a lot they know i'm a pastor even those people who sell wristwatches, ah, pastor, pastor, you need them. I learned again talking to you this afternoon, man. Why you need those people? Because it's not always the seeming great that God will use to bail you out. The ones you don't give attention to, maybe the ones. If anybody breaks my side mirror on this road, daytime, in five minutes bike men we stop and, and beat up the person it's happened before that somebody insulted me beside the road in less than five minutes we had over 30 bikes everybody wanting what's happening what's happening pastor 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 i don't share money i'm not a politician but i'm friendly they are not my friends but i'm friendly We want to know who we really are so that the rat race we end we want to begin to dream can you speak to the lord tonight in case your answer does not come in this meeting can you please continue to pray this prayer until he comes to show you to speak to you what you really are for a nation to be recovered there will be spiritual solutions and we are prayed into them but they are also natural solutions men must stand in places for the kingdom oh jesus 
Lebo Kova Sante, Libra Hando Kitus Ahayas. Please now, come and lead this prayer. Come and lead the prayer. Lano Kosa Tases Ivilas. Lebra Hakula Shia Kabarudaske Vita Kasanto. Ikomba be having us to see me a heart to Lenai. Sosa, a sota patai, a 
Kwate Pekapo, Reto Sofreta, Apapata Kapalata, Ariato Biatata, Asata Papa Papata, Aquate Beriata Tata, Ariata Biata Tata, Asan de Beliota, Reato Biata Belagato, Arata Biata Palatata, Arata Biata Tata, Arata Biata Maratata, Arata Bebe Beriata Tata, Aria Combele Capo, Abiata Palatu. Yes, we hear your voice, and we follow as you lead. Eto pala sofeta, a copreta kapapa, a de a soto kapapa, a rata papa la tata, mena na sofeta tata. Your voice, here we ascend as Lord overflows, overflows again. We say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes, we say yes, Lord. 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 Yes, only the way of the Lord. We say yes, Lord. Understanding, even as the Holy Ghost comes as the spirit of revelation. Yes, we hear your voice and we obey. We follow as you lead, Lord Jesus. We are standing, we hold our hands, and you will lead us. Even as you grant unto us understanding, Lord Jesus. We follow by the Spirit, in the Spirit. Yes, understanding may come into revelation. Revelation, 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 revelation of who we are, revelation of who you have called us to be. Yes, you have made us in your image and after your likeness. There is that which you have formed us for, and we respond according to that order. Even as the spirit of wisdom and understanding comes to us, we say, Yes, Lord. We will not argue with your spirit. We come yielding. 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 We come as willing vessels. We come as you dead men. Oh Jesus. Do to us what only you can do. Do to us. And do with us, Lord. What only you can do. Friday, 5 p.m. Prayers on the church side still hold. 